Um, my name is uh, Associate Professor Pauline Ross and I'm Assistant Associate Dean Academic at the University of Western Sydney in the College of Health and Science. So we have a huge faculty um, that ranges from biomedical to science, maths and computing, engineering and then into medicine. Uh, what we've been doing lately is having um, a real good look at how our programs are operating across the college, particularly in science and mathematics. And this has been in response, I suppose, to the national and international conversations which are circulating about uh, what should a science graduate look like in the next 20 years and what curriculum is required to build the skills of a science graduate. Um, so we've started on a process which we're calling Reconceptualising Science, which at its heart has a real inquiry, investigatory approach to the development of science curriculum. And within that, a key essential ingredient is the development of literacy skills and numeracy skills in our students. Now, our students are perhaps not so unusual in that we have a huge diversity of students. Um, from those students who uh, need more development in skills to those students who are already very well equipped um, to cope with our curriculum and really what we're trying to do there is provide them with more challenge and more opportunity. Well, I think anyone who's doing science reconceptualisation work or curriculum development would know there's the good, the bad and the ugly involved in it. it it's a painful process for us all to uh, work outside where we might feel comfortable um, and have a look at that bigger picture but still have an eye on the detail to make sure that a curriculum is developing thinking skills in our students, is developing a good sound conceptual base, is developing those research skills that we want our students to have from first year. I think that, uh, uh, that the most important, one of the most important challenges in a science discipline or a mathematics discipline which has an explosion of content within it is to ensure your students are developing a critical thinking approach um, and being able to investigate that content in a really thoughtful way. Uh, what we want our students to come out with at the end is a solid foundation in concepts but also an understanding that concepts are complex entities, they're ever changing, evolving and really learning is a dynamic process. Um, so to do that we've kind of taken a whole curriculum approach across three schools and we're trying to integrate the quantitative thinking into that whole process. So it's a whole of team, whole of uh, curriculum approach, a team approach that we're working with with academic staff and then it's really maintaining the student perspective within the decisions that, that we're currently making. So we're trying to build pathways in quantitative skills. We're trying to build pathways throughout our curriculum. What we're trying to do overall is provide challenge and opportunity so that students that are entering our math science sort of disciplines become prepared for the 21st century in a better way than they have done so in the past.